Hello, it's Dolly, and this is our one-year anniversary for Stretch the Sketch. Each of us lady our ladies are assigned a sketch that we have previously done within the last year as a group. But each of us is just going to, so you need to stay tuned and follow all the ladies' links listed below to see what they've created with their assigned sketch. I'm using Creative Memories Stamp. And it's just like a dotted line and then I'm going to use one that has zigzags and I'm using Vicki Booten paper there it goes in a um, binder that's three hold punch so it measures eight by six and it makes it really nice instead of having your mixed media book in like a traveler's notebook that is secured together or in other type book forms. This is like a three hole punch. So you can take it out and when you're done, you can place it back in there and you can use the reverse side. And Vicki Boot makes it for water coloring and for mixed media. And this one, is for the watercolor paper because I didn't really use any gesso um, modeling paste on here. Right now, like I said, I'm stamping my little crisscross design and I took that sketch and as you can tell, I flipped it. That is my matte medium paste that I'm going to use. I I'm going to tear just a couple tissue papers or vellum paper. Yeah, it's vellum paper, not tissue paper, vellum paper. And I'm going to place them on the crisscross. You can barely see. You'd have to freeze the screen so you can see me place that on there. And most of it gets covered up with my um, design here. This will not house a photograph. It is just going to um, have die cuts on it. And you're going to see in a minute. And I wasn't sure which watercolor paints, um, the, the colors I was going to use. I knew I wanted to use the Jane Davenport watercolors. And in the middle are specialized one, ones that I have gotten off, offline that have um, a glitter to it. Just that one in the middle row there that you see to the right, the lower right hand side, those are not part of the Jane Davenport watercolor paints. But I don't use them, so it doesn't matter right now to know the names of them. I'm not going to look them up. Um, if you really want to know, just out of curiosity, leave me a comment below. All right, be sure to check out the other ladies' links that I will have listed below to their videos. I'm going to take some of those paints from the Jane Davenport, I use three different colors and I just splatter along my paper here. And let's see, what am I going to do next? So oh, I'm just, looks like I'm picking up. Let me see if I can tell you the color of that. Let me look. I'm look, look, look. It comes in the gold box and it's called Apple. So I use Apple. And I use blueberries um, from the watercolor paint and I use mango. So those are the three colors from the ja ja Jane Davenport watercolor paints. I picked those up at Michael's using either a 40% or 50% coupon and it makes it very, very reasonable. Um, to pick up those watercolors and they last a long time. I have had these for over a year and I think I will have them for probably 10 years unless I really get into painting, but I use it just for scrapbooking. All right, so I'm using the matte medium to secure down these flowers. And that works out great when you're using mixed media on top of mixed media, like you're putting a die cut on top of mixed media. 
Um, some of the wet glues will work fine, but your tapes, it'll eventually come off no matter what climate you're in. You know, if, especially if you have at least any humidity, it'll eventually come off just to let you know. So the matte medium works perfect for that when you are using mixed media products on top of mixed media products, if that makes sense, a lot of layering. So that's what you see me doing right now. And then I'm going to get out these exclusive die cuts that came from Hip Kit. And I think it came out in the May Hip Kit. And it says, because I know the distance of my camera, it's set up for doing 12 by 12 layouts, but it's the die cut says out chasing rainbows the first one and then of course i add the rainbow the next one says the good stuff then i add a butterfly then i add a teacup you can see and now i'm getting out my tim holtz distress oxide and i don't know what color i think it is the evergreen bow i'm almost positive that's one of my favorite colors matter of fact i think i'm going to need to get the refill ink because i use it so so much and i'm just going around the entire edge and that just helps bring your eye to the middle of this mixed media journal page that i'm doing because there's not a whole lot to it i wanted to keep it simple and in my uh, mixed medium binder that, that I have from Vicki Booten, it's all going to be just like about uplifting quotes. And I only have a couple page in, pages in it. And someday when I get to maybe about 12 pages, I will do a video and share that. And then this layout's complete. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to give us a thumbs up. I'm sure you're a subscriber. If you're not, please subscribe because you could be hopping along and still not be a subscriber. So please subscribe, Get, hit the bell button to receive notification every time my posts go up. I'm posting two to three times a week for different collaborations and I'm here to bring you inspiration so please keep coming back.